The CG supervisor leads a team of artists working on 3D computer-generated images for a live-action movie. Mike Perry earned a degree in electrical engineering from the University of California, Santa Barbara. Mr. Perry joined Weta Digital in 1999 and has gone on to work on the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Avatar, and The Wolverine. Hi, I'm Mike Perry, CG supervisor for Weta Digital. This is Made in Hollywood, and here's a scene from Pete's Dragon. Whoa. How do we get him out of here? Do you know how to drive? Stop, Stop what you're doing, young lady. Wait! I don't want to hurt your friend, son. I just want to help. So you studied electrical engineering, so what did you originally think that you were going to do? When I graduated high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. My dad was an engineer, and I thought what he did was really cool. As soon as I started studying it, I didn't like it very much. You know, I really liked the software side of things. And so I started studying software while I was getting my degree. I didn't really want to change majors because it would have meant more years of university. So I've never actually been an engineer. I got straight into software as soon as I graduated. This thing is dangerous. I don't want to leave you, but I'll come looking for you. As a CG supervisor, using Peach Dragon as an example, what are your actual duties and responsibilities? The show was too large to have uh, just one team of people. So we had two teams. We had Team Bridge and Team Tree. And I was part of Team Bridge. And basically I was responsible for all the 3D that happened on Team Bridge. So whenever there were problems, whenever artists got stuck, or if there were pipelines that had to be developed, you know, with regards to lighting and stuff, that's something that I would have to work on. Um, and then in my spare time, I got to do a few shots as well. Okay, so in simpler terms for our audience, can you give us an example from Peach Dragon? Sure, we worked on the final sequence with the bridge. So our team was responsible for lighting the dragon, lighting the bridge, lighting the environment, you know, doing things like rendering the fire, making it all come together. Was that hard? Some parts were very difficult. The fire was really hard to work with. Another thing that I really wanted to know about was I didn't realize that the surroundings were computer generated. We did shoot some of it at a real location, but we ended up replacing most of it. There were a few trees from the original plate in some of the shots, but most of what you see in that final sequence is CG. What's gonna happen to Elliot? You have no idea what this thing is capable of. Let's go hunt. Another thing that I was actually curious about when I watched the film was the fur. So when Pete is grabbing Elliot's fur, or one of the other characters are grabbing their fur, how did you make that scene? Well, the actor would, you know, interact with the big green prop that you've seen, and then sort of mime where they would grab the fur. And then some poor person in our creatures department, who's basically responsible for building Elliot's bakes, his muscles, his hair, his skin, would have to make the fur interact with his hand. And sometimes that was very time consuming. Any other final qualities you think young people need to really succeed in this industry? Probably the biggest quality is being self-motivated. You know, we have this problem, we're not quite sure how to solve it. You know, give it a few goes, see what you can come up with. And very often you're gonna learn something when you do that and you go to the supervisor and you say, hey, I've tried these things and this works and this doesn't. That's really, really informative. What advice do you have for any young aspiring CG supervisors? I would say just find out what you love. Do you like the programming side of things or the lighting side of things, the creative side of things, and just do it. There's a lot of computers at home that can do the same sort of thing we do, maybe a bit slower, but find what you love and just keep going away at it. We're eastbound on Millhaven Road in pursuit of a dragon. It's a dragon. You can't say dragon over the radio.